Sheila conducted an experiment in dark room and everything. So here we got water plant, and then we got bubbles produced every minute. Okay. So here again, when you look at a question, first thing you must do is to identify the uh, first thing you must identify what the, the topic. The topic. The topic in this question will be the um the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis. So it's plant system, right? Plant systems, of course, you know there are two processes, which is what you said, the photosynthesis part. Photosynthesis is one of them. Then the other one that the, the process of the plant is, the other one will be your respiration. Correct. Okay. Again, you must know these two processes. Do you have to know transpiration? Don't need. Here, we got photosynthesis, res respiration. You have to know the, what does this mean? And the, how to explain them. And they're always the same. So here we got number of bubbles produced, and you know that's photosynthesis. So the bubbles is what about bubbles? Oxygen bubbles. Okay. And then we got this variable K, then you know that it's CVMV, right? So I heard somebody say CVMV. So of course we have labeled our CVMV. CV will be my change, uh, will be my variable K. I'm changing that. And my MV will be my number of bubbles produced. And this number of bubbles, you know that it's gonna do with my oxygen bubbles, as you said. So always label all your diagram and everything. It's very fast one, don't worry. How come my variable K increases uh, 10, 20, 30? Then my number of bubbles oxygen produced decreases. Is variable K the distance between the test tube and the lamp? Yes, correct. Because why? The further, the greater the distance, right? That means the I push the lead lamp far, 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 far away. That's the reason why they put the ruler here, okay? So I can push, if I push the lead lamp far, far away, there will be lesser light that's received by the plant itself. Then my rate of photosynthesis will drop. So this one, right, number of bubble produced per minute, this one is rate of photosynthesis. How do I know, how do I know when to use rate? Whenever you see got time, time involved. In this question, you're measuring the number of bubbles produced per minute. So it's time, right? You know that it's going to do with rate. How fast? Photosynthesis happens. Okay, so as the, way, the rate of photosynthesis decreases as my variable K increases because I have a distance far, far, far away, my lead lamp go further, the lesser light uh, received by the plant. So what's variable K? Just tell me distance between the, what's the words in the question, the lead lamp and the test tube. You want to say the distance between the lead lamp and the water plant? Can, sure. Okay, it's the same thing, but the water plant is in the test tube, so I just use test tube. You want to use uh, water plant also can, you'll get it correct. Or water plant. Can? So if you got this answer, you will get one mark. Anybody got a different answer? No, right? Okay. Now, so we have the name of the gas produced, of course. It's my oxygen, uh. that's all. It's my oxygen. If you get oxygen, you get one mark also. So, uh, Sheila, Sheila added a few fish in the test tube. Now I've got a few fishes added into the test tube and repeated the experiment. After some time, number of bubbles produced by the water plant increased. That means my rate of photosynthesis increased. Yes. But you need to explain why. Okay? If I, if I add a few fish, what am, I, what am I introducing? Carbon dioxide. Remember when I talk about carbon dioxide? When do you produce carbon dioxide? What, what must the fish do? Is what, what is it what the process? Respiration. Good. So all these terms must come out in your head already. Yeah. I mean, we look at all these uh, one by one. You can link together. So respiration, you will produce your carbon dioxide. And of course, you also produce your uh, energy. La, plus energy. Okay, you also release your energy. But release energy is for the fish itself. It doesn't benefit the plant. Because they ask you how does the water plant get affected? That is the one that you're looking at. Okay? The water plant is the one that you want to increase the rate of photosynthesis, which you need more uh, carbon dioxide. So you introduce fish, you have introduced more carbon dioxide in the process of respiration for the fish. Then you can talk, talk to me about your photosynthesis. Memorize photosynthesis, the process, how to explain. I'm going to show it to you. You can check your answer. I'm sure a lot of you are done. So tell me this one first. Carbon dioxide during respiration. Don't need to tell me release energy because energy is not important in this question. Okay, but if you, if you write energy, fine. They will not mark you wrong. Okay? But because it makes sense. Carbon dioxide during respiration to release energy, if you want to write that, write that down, it's fine. But it's not needed. 
Then you can tell me what happens. What happens? More carbon dioxide in the presence of light. Some of you might be missing this part. Okay, because you need to tell me light itself because photosynthesis means you need light, right? So what you need to memorize is the whole process of photosynthesis itself. Just they add everything faster, more, 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 more. No comparison term, more, no faster, you're going to get it wrong. 